All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 30. Today we're going on on Aladdin to investigate the crash get ships on Aladdin. <laughs> okay, enjoy. All right, guys, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? We gotta go to Aladdin. We're also going to investigate a, um planet and stuff, like always. Um, wait. This is episode 30, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did a wrong count of the episode, so I apologize. I'll fix this in the next episode. Hopefully. <laughs> um, going here. I'm going to investigate the other planets later. So, I don't mind. The light on the side of this cluster is so different. Maybe the scourge is absorbing certain wavelengths. Does it ever give anything back? Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Let's go, 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 go! Anomaly on sensors. Let me guess. Deploying probe. We have a river. I found something. A volcano? I'm so proud. <laughs> I found a volcano. <laughs> Anomaly detected. Probe away. And we got a satellite. Detecting what's left of a ship. It's actually quite amazing how this, how they made the graphics and the everything. It's, it's amazing.
go. This should be actually pretty easy and fast, I believe. Get under your skin so much. He means well. He doesn't get under my skin. Wait, does he think I'm upset? I think I just gained the upper hand. to be a cat data log pathfinder. It may contain saved data of some variety. Can we access this data, Sam? The device is locked. Anything you can do to bypass the lock? This is beyond my current capabilities. We have never encountered a cat device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. Suvi might be able to figure it out. Interesting, right? Alright, let's get back to the tempest. Rider. Hello. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship. It's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those cat genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Well, we're going now. Lexi! Got your memo, Suvi. 
Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... It's... Uh... It just locked onto a transmission. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is... audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is. Please be careful, Ryder. What? It's on EOS? We gotta get there right away. No telling what could happen. Coordinating. Path is calm. Oh, no shit. What do you expect? It's gonna be a hell of a rainstorm or, a, I don't know, a massive white planet uh, attack or something like that? Come on. My ride. Whoa, that's really close. Ach oh, it's Eos, right. I wonder what we're gonna find. Does anybody actually know what we're gonna find? <laughs>
the path here, so maybe... I wonder if there's anything hidden away back here. Loot from our outposts. And an Ark escape pod? Where did they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need an up close scan. Weren't we already here, though? Nav point Suvi gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. Transmission's probably rooted through a bunch of these. If I was spouting treasonous nonsense, I'd be careful too. Yeah, good point. But so is everywhere else. that thing to the knife, knife point and we go up.
Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network, updating your Omni tool with the information. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by Remnant. There may be something of use. The Black Rock signal comes and goes. Oh. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception clear. Eel still feels frontier. Claimed, but not tame, we like to say. another node on this network, updating your Omni tool with the information. Jeez, how many of these are there? Well, this episode's gonna be a little longer than I thought, but okay. I miss climbing for fun. Everything's life or death now. The Black Rock feels old. Good to remember we're the new ones. As high as we climb... The transmission is strong and unobstructed here, Pathfinder. Looks like we found it then.
That's a lot of dead cat. Probably set to broadcast. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. There must be more here. This can't be it. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Not on my watch, asshole. This posturing benefits no one. Our confrontation is inevitable, not imminent. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. I take it you need my help for this? I am Ket. I do not need help. I would use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. Whoa. That's that, I guess. All right. 
back to the Tempest. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. And I guess this is this is gonna be it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And until and until then, bye bye and enjoy. All systems green. All right, guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. All right, all right, and until the next time, bye bye.